So, when you start out on the trail here from the Stone Door uh, Ranger Station, which is where we're starting out from, it's paved for a little ways. Uh, back 40 years ago, when I first started hiking this area, this was just wilderness area. 40 years? It was 40 years ago, <laughs> yes. I was just a young teen, and we used to come up here and hike this area. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was, for a young guy growing up in Middle Tennessee, I just fell in love with this area. In fact, this goes down to the connector trail. They say that's the most strenuous trail actually in the in the area. In the Coming back. Incidentally, if you're going hiking or backpacking, do not watch videos late at night of people being mauled to death by bears. It's not good for you. And it certainly is not good if you're going hiking and backpacking. This is 
really beautiful through here. It reminds me a lot, actually, right here of the Smoky Mountains. So we've been hiking for two hours. We've come approximately two miles and uh, it's rough going for sure. Uh, we've got 3.3 miles to get to the sawmill campsite. Uh, it's about four o'clock. It's gonna get dark about gonna six. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to pick it up and set it down. The good news is we're nearly to the bottom of the trail. We shouldn't have got such a late start. intersection back there I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing took a wrong turn so we probably went about two tenths of a mile up the wrong trail and I just continued on the trail that was well marked and that was a mistake This is awesome. This stream is beautiful. This is uh, this rivals anything you see in the Smokies, or anything you see in Colorado, for that fact. You know, on the connector trail, here it, uh, it's turned into an old road bed. And actually, this is the best hiking of the day. We're not gonna make it by nightfall. We've done way too much video. And uh, my little detour on the other trail cost us about 20 minutes. Start. And it's pretty dark. We've had to break out the headlamp. We're still about a mile away. Uh, someone was saying that their uh, boyfriend was scared to death going over these things. This is awesome. He's swinging me. This is a long bridge, I'm telling you. That's awesome. What'd you think? Man, I think it's bouncy. All right, we filled up on water at the swinging bridge. Beautiful stream. Tomorrow that should be absolutely stunning. And, whew, oh my a little climb up. And we're back on the good trail again. Oh, I think we've got about 30 minutes to go oh and we'll be there. Hopefully we can find our camp site in the dark. 
Whew. Wanted to do some night hiking. Well, it's not night yet, but it's getting there. It's definitely twilight. It is dark now. Brought out my big light. And just put it on my chest strap so we don't have to waste our headlamp. Okay, it's 7.05. We've been hiking since about three. We've been hiking four hours and 15 minutes and we're at the Sawmint Mill campsite. It's pitch black outside. Uh, and it was more than five, it was 5.8 miles, how far we've hiked. So we're looking for number one, and then we can pitch a tent. Be back with you in a minute. Okay, we're here. We found it. This is home for the night. So it's about eight o'clock our time, and the tent is up. Dinner is uh, is finished. Taipei chicken. So, what do you think about the hike down here? It's hard for me. It's pretty hard. It's very hard. Beautiful though. We have a full moon coming up over the horizon here. Not the horizon, but the mountain top. Feels so good. It's a pretty good fire. Well, I'm up. It's time to go find some water. Okay, hiking out this morning, leaving the sawmill campgrounds. There's eight sites here. They're spread out over a pretty good area. Last night, we were hiking in this in the dark. And uh, the camp sites are numbered and they're spread out really nicely uh, from one to eight uh, so do not ride on top of each other and they're all along a single trail interesting coming over this in the pitch black this is one of three swinging bridges that we crossed they don't really swell they bounce more than they sw swing Absolutely beautiful stream here in a little while. So, when you leave the sawmill campground and start coming back up the connector trail, it is a rugged trail. The trail is not well, very well defined, really. 
but it, they have a lot of blazes to keep you on the trail. Absolutely glorious day. So we're just at the bottom of the stone door. That's actually the trail coming up right there. We've come up from the second level all the way from the bottom from the creek. And we're got to go right around there to the stairs. And the stairs will take us up to the bottom of the stone door. And I'll actually video of going up this door if we can make it. State Natural Area and first of Springs, Tennessee. What'd you think? I bet you got fried. <laughs> I'm tired. That was a tough hike. I'm it was tired. it was over five miles. It was closer to six. Oh, yeah. And uh whew, it was a lot of up and downs. A lot and of then rocks. Very steep, very, very rocky. Even the uh, old road beds were uh, a lot of loose rocks. And they were covered in leaves, so you were constantly stepping on rocks and fell down about four times. Rolling your ankles and uh, awesome uh, scenery, beautiful scenery, spectacular scenery. We'll be posting that on this. Uh, you'll get to see that, and uh, I'm sure they've already seen it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yes, that's right. Actually, you will have already seen it. She is correct. <laughs> if you're watching this to the end of this thing, you've already seen it. But we loved it. We slept like a log last night, and. Uh, very it's a beautiful place. Uh, one guy that came here said this was a hidden gem, and it really is. No kids. Yep. And so, uh, very, but it's it's not for the faint of heart. It's for serious backpack packers, and you need to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, that would help. Yeah. We're gonna go get a cheeseburger. Yes, we are. And a Diet Coke. Bye.